What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2023-24 Select Liga Blasters from Panini. These started selling on a few sites last week and are going for 30 to 40 bucks right now. And not sure when they're actually going to drop uh, on, you know, Target's website or, you know, hit retail shelves. But anyway, as always, we're here to show you guys what these are all about. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and really, really helps us grow. It helps with the awesome YouTube algorithm. And when you click on eBay search links on this page and make a purchase, it can result in us earning a commission, which also supports us in the long run as part of the eBay Partner Network. Just an FYI, and thank you for all your support, guys. So, what can we expect? This should be a 6x4 format, 24 cards total, nothing too crazy. And we should be getting a good amount of prisms per box. I've not seen any of these open yet, so this is going to be a first time with everyone on YouTube. And yeah, here's the side of the box so you guys can see what you can uh, expect from these. But I'll also put up a reference table on the screen as well. Uh, and as you guys can see, uh, they did add the new pink mojos that are exclusive to these blasters. Uh, but they're out of 115, whoop de doo and uh yeah it looks like the inserts are also gonna be like um you can get them in blue pulsar prisms so that's kind of interesting no guaranteed autos uh since those are typically case or like semi-case hits in these but uh we'll see if each box has at least uh one guaranteed numbered card or not i highly doubt it but you never know and just like last year as well um you can't uh get uh the case hit inserts that you get from hobby boxes for like stained glass and all that other stuff so Let's get into this first box right here. First pack, I believe I said box. I just had to think about that. All right, so first pack has a purple mojo. I wonder if these are going to be one per pack. We'll find out here, guys. All right, and it is none other than Rodrigo. I feel like we've pulled so many of this guy's cards on the channel. I've also seen a lot of people pull his cards on the Discord. So link in description down below if you want to join. Really, really nice soccer collecting community. Very, very helpful as well. Any questions you might have about the soccer hobby? Oh, we got a numbered uh, pink mojo. I didn't think I, was, I would ever say ooh, but <laughs> I guess I wasn't expecting a numbered card. So here is the unstoppable select. It's going to be silver by default, I'm guessing. And our first numbered card, please be a chase rookie. It is Ivan Alejo. Honestly, no idea who this guy is, but 88 out of 115. Let's put this guy over here. Again, I still don't know if these are guaranteed per box. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, either we get one from this one and then we can say yes, or we just have to wait and see more boxes. But we might end up getting lucky to the point that we are gonna get one in both boxes. All right, our next purple mojo is gonna be Suso. Nothing too crazy here as of now. And if you're not familiar with uh, Select, uh, you basically have three types of base card rarity. Uh, Terrace being the most common, Mezzanine being the uncommon one, and then Field being the least common. And I haven't turned any cards around, but this one, for example, if you look at the top, it says Terrace, that's gonna be the most common design. And then this one is gonna be Mezzanine. I just know what these look like from experience. And there's Mezzanine the bottom right there and here is Jude Bellingol just a regular insert uh, we have not hit a field yet because field is going to be horizontal and it's going to be like I said the least common uh, I don't know if they changed it from last year even though on the box it says the ultra rare field level last year they're basically like one or two per box so that was kind of interesting all right there it is first field it is a Laminia Mall base let's go and ooh, look at that, Pau Kubarsi, rookie purple mojo. Let me show you guys the back. That's where it says field level. So let's put this guy over here. And this is so far the best card of the box. No idea what to expect from this last one here, but I have not seen a blue pulsar insert. I'm guessing that those might be like rarer than, like much rarer than the other ones, but let's find out here. All right, so we did not get one of those. So it is gonna be not as common as we think. There's Fermin Lopez, which we're gonna talk about here in a sec. So equalizers, and we had a silver goalkeeper terrace. So let me put this one over here and let's get into box number two. All right, so I mean, already, honestly, these boxes feel 
better than last year, like immediately. And you know, big reason for that is the rookie class for sure. Last year, there was barely like any real chase. It was more like a forced, <laughs> you know, prospecting kind of kind of deal. But uh, since we brought that up, uh, the rookie class. Uh, so we get into like much more detail uh, on the rookies, like in the hobby box review, which is in the link description down below. But you're mainly looking at Luminia Mall and uh, Arda Glare, so Barcelona and Real Madrid. So amazing rivalry there, just, you know, for club history. And both rookies are actually really, really, really good players. And uh, yeah, there's also probably like three to four others to keep an eye out for, like Fermin Lopez that we saw earlier. Uh, and this is another one of them, but uh, we do talk about some of the others in the other video. And here's Carl Starfelt. All right, didn't think I would see a Carl from the set, but here we are. And I'm sure you guys are all waiting to see the new Donruss Blasters to drop. Trust me, me too. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with that. And it looks like maybe, just maybe, we are going to be getting one numbered card per uh, blaster. <laughs> Let's hope this is one of the players that we want to get. Jose Maria Jimenez. So definitely not one of the players that we want to get. But the checklist is technically like the base checklist. So this is out of 115 once again. Uh, it's like 250 players. So I think it's uh, it goes like 100, 100, and then 50 fields. Just to let you guys know how this is kind of sorted for select. All right, and Shadi Riyadh. So we didn't get any fillers in the first one. I wonder if they really, I wonder if they changed the stock of the autos this year for these blasters. I mean, they didn't have like any uh, nice pedigree here. They didn't have any like fillers in the blasters last year. Um, I honestly can't remember like if there was like a difference uh, in the packs, but it looks like we got a field. I think we might have seen the name here. Field base and a field. Alexander. Oh, the top scorer from La Liga had like four goals his last game and just shot him to the top. I think it was like. Um, like another player, uh, I forgot where he was from. I don't know, some some European country, but look at this guy. Field, Alexander Surlos. Let's put this guy over here. And of course, we're gonna do the recap, but I feel like I was saying something about the, the autos uh, and then I completely forgot. Uh, so last year uh, from retail, they're all on 130 point stock. And I'm guessing because this is select, they're not gonna change that. They're, they're gonna keep them on 130 point stock. So we'll just have to wait to see a bigger sample size, but no blue pulsar uh, inserts from these. I wonder how actually rare those are going to be. So Kamavinga insert and then a silver Maximo Perrone. So let's put this guy over here and do a quick recap. So how many inserts slash silvers did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Makes sense. Four per box. And then we got all these purple mojos. One, two, three, four, five, six so three per box it looks like we got this nice field and then we had this Kubarsi, and we started off with rodrigo and we had one numbered pink mojo per box so you can do the math uh basically off the checklist out of 115 250 players uh not actually i don't think you can get pink mojos for inserts from what we saw on the box so the inserts are going to be the blue pulsars doesn't look like they're numbered. But unfortunately, we did not get an auto. We got a base aluminum all for what it's worth. But the question that a lot of you might be asking at this point, are these worth it uh, for like, you know, 30 to 40 bucks per box? Uh, probably on the lower end of things, to be honest. Uh, the gold mojos to 10, uh, you know, are a really, really nice addition uh, and a really nice chase in these boxes, same as last year. Also the blue pulsar autos, but the pink mojos out of 15 seem pointless to me. I mean, you really need like an additional like lower numbered card than that, than like 115, I don't know, maybe like out of 49 or even lower than that, or I don't know, out of 75, not 115 and not a pink mojo, please. Cause pink mojo, most of us know how everyone feels about the pink parallels that they add in retail most of the time. But getting two hobby boxes for basically the same price as an entire case of these blasters is honestly a no brainer. I'd always go with the, with the two hobby boxes. But uh, what these are really nice for is that if you just want to rip a few blasters and don't want to spend that much money and you know don't want to go all out, 
uh, you can go with blasters. You know, two to three of these are gonna set you to like what? I don't know, like 80 to to like 90 bucks, uh, best case scenario at this point. But the ceiling isn't nearly as high as Hobby. Uh, you know, there's way less parallels, way less color in these. There's still a lot of nice gold uh, to chase from these, especially the two main rookies that we mentioned earlier. But that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks, and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.